guys, what's going on today? We are going to take apart some electrical switches. Now these got silver contacts, brass, copper motor, all the goodies. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it step by step by hand. Um, normally I'd use a drill, but for today's video, we are going to do it by hand. So I'm just gonna find a better screwdriver here. Pause the video for a second. Alright, so we're gonna do there's some screws here on the bottom. We're gonna take out. We get a lot of these out of uh, central air units and furnaces, stuff like that. So they do add up over time. So there we go, we got some tin shred. We got our Copper motor there. Okay, now onto this side. I want to take out these screws here. Now this is what we call micro scrapping because we are basically taking everything down microly to a small. There's a piece of brass there. Another piece of brass there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and grab our wire clippers. And there's a little bar here, plastic bar, we just cut on both sides. Just like that. Now this comes out. Now this here, these are silver contacts. These little, if you can zoom in on that, these little silver beads here are silver contacts. Okay. And the rest is brass. No sticky sticky. Okay. So there's that. Now, there's more in here. I'm gonna find a really fine. Here, should, here, there's one in there. All right, hold on, guys. I'm gonna find another screwdriver, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we got our screwdriver here. Let me just take out these screws, and then these lift up. Now these here are brass as well. As you see, no sticky, sticky. So that's good. That's brass. And then we have these brass chunks here, which have another silver contact on there. So, I mean, you don't have to go after the silver contacts. I mean, it is tedious, but if you know, you're like me and you get a bunch of these, then they sure do add up over time. And uh, what I do is uh, down the road, I'll either recover the silver out of them or I will send them to a refiner that will recover the silver out of them. Okay, so there's some more tin shred there. And then we got this piece here. So we want to get all our brass out. That's and then steel. sometimes this piece here is brass, sometimes it's steel though. So as you see, sticky sticky. That's tin shred, okay? And then the rest is just plastic and just throw in the garbage. Okay. So, to recap, there's our tin, okay? Our brass, clean brass. This is also brass. You can throw this in clean, but like I said, silver context, we want to keep that separate. Here's some more brass here we can go ahead and throw there. And then we have our copper motor. This is copper. And, uh, That's copper. Oh, that's covered? Okay, sorry. And then, for just this video, we'll go into it a little bit deeper. Sometimes these are brass. These ones here are steel. That's okay. But, we'll tear apart this motor for the copper. Again, it may not seem like a whole lot, but when you get a lot of these little motors, <coughs> it sure does add up. So, 
Just take that tip off. We can pull this copper. It might not look like a lot, but once you unravel it, it yeah. looks like a whole lot. We can pull this copper right off here. Just like this. Now this copper here will go as number two copper. Uh, because there is a lacquer on it, it's not clean. And it's thin, okay? So, remember, anything thicker than a pencil lead will be bare bright. Anything under that will be number two. So here we go, we're just unwrapping, unwrapping, unwrapping. And that's that. So that there can go into shred because there is still still on there. There's a nice little ball of number two copper for the hoard. Just like that. Okay, let's uh, let's do another one, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Again, we take off this back plate because that's what releases our motor. So there's two screws in here. See this okay? Yeah, I can see. There we go. There's our tin thread. And then here's our motor. Nice little tin shred there. That's our motor here. So this one here does have brass here. So we'll deal with that afterwards. But now we want to flip this over. We want to get out these screws here. That's what I was working on. Huh? That's what I was working on. Okay. And that is tin. That is brass. Normally I work this with a drill. It makes things so much quicker. But for the sake of the video. slow motion so we take out these four screws in here and the name of the game is to uh, get as much non ferrous as you can right so mm -hmm. any brass any copper any aluminum you know and then we just stockpile it up Save it all for a rainy day. Okay, so we got them screws out. Those screws are tin. Let me cut that little bar here. And that'll release everything underneath. Steel. Get all this out. Let's go ahead and see if this is all brass. No sticky sticky, right? Want to save our silver contacts. As you guys see, the little buttons there. Okay. There's our silver contacts. So they are brass, but they got silver. That goes to clean brass. Okay. And then we have this piece here. Sometimes it's easier just to cut these little clips here. It makes them come out better. More brass. And now this piece here, no sticky sticky, right? So that is clean brass. yellow brass. Right there. Now me. if you're not sure if they're brass, all you gotta do is find one right here. Is just take a file here, okay, and just scratch it. And if you can see that yellow, then that's, then that's brass, right? Now, over here, these little things, you can clearly see that's copper, right? Yeah. Same with this. Copper. So, yeah. Like I said, if you're not sure, just uh, take, a, take a file to it. 
and uh, you know to anything you're scrapping out and yeah the metal will reveal itself Let's see this one is a pain in the butt that one didn't want to play nice it was okay they all don't this one's kind of got some weird screws on it they like torque screws now this is a different kind of switch as you guys can see we can't physically see the motor in there but it is a switch nonetheless there is a motor in it this is more of a heavy duty motor so we got our tin and look at this as you see there's our nice switch right there more tin there so we got a nice motor Sure, that's not cast. No. And then we can take these off. So these here are steel. Just to show you guys. Sticky sticky. Okay. Sticky sticky means it doesn't go in the hoard. <laughs> okay. For those of you the, that don't know. It means you go to the yard. That's right, it goes to the yard. All right, we're gonna do this one here. And this one here. Oh, maybe. Don't stab yourself. So, on some of these, you gotta watch because some of these may be steel, okay? So they may have silver contacts. That one kind of looks gold, but that is silver. And it is brass. It's not sticky sticky, but it's but it's white. So all we do is just take this and we scratch. As you That's guys can copper. see, that is copper. Okay, so it's a copper one. We'll scratch this, see if it's... We can scratch this here. See if it's silver or gold. Something that's silver. That's silver. So we'll just put that in with our, our contacts. And then some of these you gotta like pry them out really good to get to them. They have to be stubborn. Yeah. They all don't want to come out, you know? You know what I mean. Sometimes you gotta smash it with a hammer. <laughs> Whatever makes it work. Some persuasion. Yeah. Oh, there's some brass. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, yeah. So that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And uh, that's how we tear apart electrical switches, right? So as you guys see, this is all clean brass. You want to brush this in my hand? So all our clean yellow brass goes over into our brass barrel here. Just gets added to the hoard. And uh, our copper will go in our copper bucket barrel over here. And uh, yeah, so. All right guys, until next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And please do ring that bell so you don't miss our next video because you're not going to want to miss it. Until next time, have a good day. Keep scrapping. That's right. Take care, y'all.